Hi everybody, David Dilling here from Markswear. Today I'm going to share a little bit about our summer holiday this year with the family, which, uh, you know, was always great, relaxing, and perfect weather uh, down there in Spain. And on the way back, we spent some more time in France, which we always enjoy, in the Burgundy region, Borgonia. And we love castles, you know, checking things out, just exploring and everything like that. We came across this sprawling, huge terrain and, and, and this beautiful chateau, this castle. And we soon learned it was uh, La Chateau de la Ferta. Uh, it used to be an old abbey uh, back in the day and during the French Revolution was bought by uh, a man, Louis Jacques Thenard. And we met his uh, great-great-grandson, maybe his great-great-great-grandson, but, you know, in any event, you're getting the picture here. There at the, at the castle in front of it, and he gave us a tour. And what was the most interesting was we're going to learn about the history of the rotary press, the rotation press for printing newspapers and large journals. You know, it was really neat just walking in after this beautiful tour of all the rooms and all that, 18th century rooms, and you could see and touch everything, which is different from other castles and chateaus I've been in in Holland and Belgium and other places. But then we entered this large room, almost like it seemed like the whole length of this castle, where I can only describe it as like a science room and a laboratory with all this old antique scientific equipment, uh, astronomical equipment, astronomy, guns, and then also stuff in the printing industry. A real antique uh, Thomas Edison mimeograph right there to touch and the video and to see. And then uh, I saw the plates there, not the actual rotary press, but these, these, these plates, these rounded plates with old imagery on there. Uh, even old guy on a bike. And then we soon learned that it was... Uh, yeah, it was a family of inventors. Uh, his you know, great-great-great-grandfather invented the color blue, the pigment blue, used by Napoleon. And his uh, great-great-grandmother's father, um, you know, uh, Maroni Maronini, I can't really pronounce that well. You'll see the spelling here and, and, and hear it from him in the video. He is the creator, the inventor of the rotary press. Now... Uh, it is said that uh, another man is uh, credited, uh, Mr. Ho, H-O-E, with creating the rotary press as well, probably around the same time in America, and patented it. But it appears that uh, Maroni also created it around the same time in, in, in France, in this region. And uh, there's a rich history about the family, Thenard, and this uh, rotary press, and you'll hear about that as well. So yeah, sit back, enjoy the video. It was an amazing tour. If you're ever in there, in there, that part of France, go check it out. Lovely place to see. And uh, you know, here's the video. The inventor of the rotary press, you'll find him over there, Hippolyte Michaud Marinoni, and he invented it in the 19th century. And over there, you find an example of the, the rotary press. It was an enormous invention. Forward. Pressed, pressed like this, mm -hmm. and afterwards like this. But the monks here of La Ferté, it's called, they, um, they invented the first press before Gutenberg, but I don't know it's true, but um, you yeah. find there, there a, little, a little example. Okay. But this was in the 19th century. Yes, my, my great-grandfather, he gave it uh, uh, um, for free on lots of um, uh, journals, mm -hmm. and also to the Bien Public, and it was um, uh, a journal here in Burgundy. And, um, he had one son, he was homosexual, and uh, to the left, uh, <laughs> political to the left. Yeah. And after that, uh, his father found, uh, he found it horrible, and he gave the press after his, he gave the journal after his death uh, to the family here, and not to his son. So wow. the family possesses the, the, lots of uh, uh, newspapers here in the, in the, in the neighborhood. Okay, in Germany. I hope they use flight check. One of uh, Edison's inventions, the uh, mimeograph, first sort of copy machine. And uh, now you said about the monks. The monks here might have—it's uh, rumored they invented printing before Gutenberg. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know much about it. That's okay. Uh, my uncle who knows more about it here. I don't know what this, but this is printed by the by the monks of. Uh, large um, uh, wooden um, plates. Yeah, yeah. 
plates, not plates, we have to put in your board. Wow. So it's rumored that they uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. were doing it before. Rumor. Interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah.